Hello everyone. This is Southern Bell Whisper. I hope you all are doing well today. Before I start this video and get to the good stuff, the relaxing stuff, I want to give you guys an update on my health. Um, two months ago when I got COVID, uh, this abscess, this huge abscess, showed up on my left leg, and it got infected. The doctors couldn't tell me if it was a spider bite or what. They couldn't tell me where it was from. They just said it was an abrasion, abscess. But I've had about four of those abscesses the past two months, and about a week ago, uh, a blister showed up on my lower leg, and I knew, I just knew, I have to wear jeans at work, at my job, so I just knew that it w those jeans were going irritated, and it did, and it got inflamed, and you guys, I cannot explain to you the pain. <laughs> Last night, the pain really came to a head. I couldn't even sleep at all. Like the pain, excruciating. But I knew that I was going to the doctor this morning because I have a monthly weigh-in because I'm on a diet medicine. By the way, for, uh, I've so almost ten months. I've gone from 360 to 309. That makes me really happy that I'm not nine pounds away from being under 300 pounds. So that's some happy news. But uh, the doctor still couldn't explain. He took a culture and he told me he would contact me if there was like staff or MRSA. But he didn't really do anything for the pain. He just said uh, take naproxen for the pain. And uh, I, I I've told you guys before, I don't do pain pills, so, but, you know, usually doctors, if you say you're in a lot of pain, they'll give you like a steroid shot, and he didn't give me anything, and it's just so painful, you guys, it's on my lower leg, right below my knee, and it's just nasty looking, it's red, it's inflamed, it hurts like a mother, but... I was telling the girl at the local family dollar that I go to all the time. We've pretty much, um, she knows me, I know her type of thing. And when I came in, she, she saw me limping and I showed her this place. She was like, what the? I was like, yeah, I know, I don't know. She's like, the doctors don't know? And I was like, nope. I was like, doctors, doctors suck. <laughs> because, uh, for two months, no doctor has been able to explain why I get these abscesses on. And it's always on my left leg. Just my left leg. So, I don't know, but I do have to go to work early tomorrow. And I would appreciate it immensely if you guys would just pray that maybe the swelling will go down. And it won't hurt as bad working. Also, I told you guys I bought a desk and I had a whole fiasco with that desk, you guys. I bought it, was it this past Sunday? I bought it this past Sunday and I had a hell of a time trying to find somebody to deliver it for me. But I finally did, but oh my gosh, you guys. So my desk is on my porch right now until I can paint it. But this video might be the last one without a setup. I promise you guys. But uh, since I've had such a shitty week, I got a package in the mail today. And I wanted to open it with you guys. I don't know what's in here. I know I ordered uh, three books for National Book Day. 
shoulder a little bit with you guys. I'll try not to be too loud. Now this series, if it's the series that I'm thinking of, has been all over TikTok and YouTube. Everybody's talking about it. And I've been I've been in a reading slump, you guys. I can't get into anything. I can't even remember the last book that I read all the way through. Gosh, they really... Silly's tight, don't they? Of course, I would grab the most dull knife from the kitchen. show and tell video a few videos back. Yeah, those disappeared. And I would love to have them at the moment. Okay. Oh this. What do they think we're going to do? her the beloved Pumpkin Spice Cafe in the small town of Dream Harbor. Jeannie jumps at the chance for a fresh start away from her very dull desk job. Logan is a local farmer who avoids Dream Harbor's gossip at all cost, but Jeannie's arrival disrupts Logan's routine and he wants nothing to do with the irritatingly upbeat new girl, except that he finds himself inexplicably drawn to her. Will Jeannie's happy-go-lucky attitude win over the grumpy but gorgeous Logan? Or has this city girl found the one person in town who won't fall for her charm or her pumpkin spice lattes? I love the cover of this book. It's funny because I'm not a pumpkin spice girly myself. But I just I just had to jump on the bandwagon, you guys. Because like I said, I I I could tell you the last book that I read all the way through. And this one looks like it's going to be a fast read as well. Which I love. It will get me in the mood for fall and romance. <laughs> um I also pre-ordered uh, the Cinnamon Bun Cafe, Cinnamon Bun something. I pre-ordered that. And then I also ordered the Sugar Queen by Sarah Addison Allen. They're on their way in the mail. The Sugar Queen is one of my favorite books to read. Actually, it's the perfect winter book to read. You guys haven't read it. I love Sarah Addison Allen. Sugar Queen is one of my favorite books of all time. There's just this scene with the love interest and the main character where they're out in the snow and they're just acting like children. And I always thought that was just so romantic and I wanted to reread it again. But yeah, I have no idea how I got two copies of this book, you guys. No idea. I 
I want you guys to recommend to me some good fall reads. Yes, I'll probably, if I start reading this tonight, I'll probably be finished with it by tomorrow. This week I was so excited about today. Today's my day off and, and I was so excited about getting my desk up here and getting my set up the right way. And then that damn thing on my leg decided to hurt last night and all those plans went out the window, but it's okay. I told the girl at the um, family dollar, I said it could be worse. I know that. It could be so much worse. It really could, you guys. Yeah, it's painful, but I know it's something that I can remedy. I can take care of. Some people aren't so lucky. They're going through you know, cancer or broken bones, not being able to work. Like, it could be so much worse. really excited. I'm going to give my mama a copy and then we're both going to read it and then we're going to trade notes on it after we're done. It's the season to fall in love. Our lust. <laughs> it's the season to fall in love. I just love I'm going to get close so you guys can see this cover. It's by Lori Gilmore. It's like Gilmore Girls. And there's a little cat. Almost looks like my cat, but white. And got some Autumn Reese on the door. Just the ambiance. Even if I don't like the book, it's going to look amazing on my hopefully in the future bookshelf. That's the only thing I need, you guys, is a couple things to uh, go with my desk. But besides that, a bookcase is all that I need for my setup. So pretty. You guys, all speaking of cafes, I went to Starbucks the other day. I had to wake up at five and you know that thing on my leg was just killing me and, and I was like you know what I'm going to splurge a little bit and instead of getting my usual two dollar coffee from Burger King I'm going to go to Starbucks and I had their caramel crunch frappuccino. You guys Even the guy that gave it to me, he was like, that is a pretty drink. I said, yeah, I almost hate to drink it, but oh well. Oh, so delicious. Like I told you guys, I, I'm not a big pumpkin spice fan, but I love like caramel and apple. And 
vanilla. But yes, I am so excited to read this book, guys. Seriously, I, I miss reading, you know? And it's not like the book that I was reading, I was reading from, from Blood to Ash. It wasn't like I didn't like it. It was just not right. Do you guys know what I'm talking about? You pick up a book and you start reading it and you're like, no, it's just the wrong time for this. Like, that's a book that I should read, like, during Christmas or something. But fall is for fall, hallmark, love stories, and spice, and horror. I love to read. I've never read a Stephen King book, you guys. Nope. But I want to this year. I want to read a good Stephen King book, so you guys tell me down in the comments what the best Stephen King book is. But yes, yeah, so excited about this. So excited. But anyways, you guys, I hope you enjoyed this video, and I will be talking to you this weekend, probably tomorrow, to be honest. I'll be talking to you guys tomorrow and doing my top 10. Because I don't think I did my top 10 last week. And then also my Bible study on Sunday. So, anyways, you guys.